Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year everybody. It's 2020, so happy 2020. Um, today's video, I am rounding up my favorites, my best products or brands used in 2019. So I actually have quite a bit of skincare, um, a few makeup products, and I also have some hair care products as well. So I will stop chatting and get right into the video. I guess I'll start with skincare because I've been just a little bit more um, focused on making sure I take care of my skin. I do have a little bit of sensitive skin and do get occasional breakouts so I just make sure that I cleanse and do all the important steps that are needed. <clears throat> so I think the first thing I'm going to start with is my favorite, my all-time favorite is the Caudalie and this is the mask peeling glycolic, um, sorry, it's the glycolic peel um, face mask. So this one is really good. When I first went into Sephora to get this, the girls recommended it after explaining like what was happening with my skin, that I had the occasional breakouts and that I have normal to dry skin. So the other ones I think, there's three face masks in their line, but I've been using this ever since. Um, and I think I've been using this for about almost four years now and I just have to say that it rescues my skin um, anytime I have redness or breakouts or bumps on my face and that's due to it being dehydrated, dry, um, not enough moisture, not eating healthy, not enough water so it gets irritated very easily. I, I've learned that now and I'm starting to notice that, you know, I need to stay away from masks that are clay masks or, you know, the deep cleansing ones that strip the oil out of your face. I've tried them and it's just made my skin worse. So this one just cleanses it, it balances it out, it gives me enough hydration, but exfoliates and gives me that deep cleanse that I need so I use this maybe one to two times a week and yeah I cannot live without this um, I've tried other masks but I think this is my all-time favorite so you must have seen this in my previous videos and yeah it's a holy grail product for me <laughs> moving on with skincare this is another old favorite it's Vaseline Lip Therapy. This one's a limited edition one. It's the Creme Brulee. And this actually came out in 2011, I believe. Yeah, it's quite some time ago. It came out then, it was a limited edition. And um, I heard about it and I couldn't find it here in Canada. And um, it was, I think, only available in the UK or maybe the US as well. I'm not 100% sure, but we were planning a vacation over to um, the UK so I was very excited I just had this in mind and I went to every Boots and Superdrug and picked up maybe about like a dozen and I still have like a couple extra ones and they haven't uh, gone bad they still smell nice they I still use it every day and it's it's just perfect for dry chapped lips um, so like I mentioned, I've got dry skin and uh, my lips get dry too. And when winter comes around, they're extra chapped, extra dry, it becomes flaky. And I just apply a little bit of that. And maybe within an hour or so, you can see like the dry skin coming off and then your lips are nice and soft. So I think it's important to apply it at nighttime, which I don't do, but yeah. I mean, this is a limited edition creme brulee, but regular Vaseline, you can get them in the little tins like this. Um, the original, you can get an aloe vera gel one. You can get a rose one, a cocoa one. They all work the same. They just have different scents and smells. But um, I think you can't go wrong with um, a Vaseline product. 
so another holy grail for me. I use this as a hand cream and I love that you can get it in a little tub like this. It looks like that, so perfect for your purse. And it's the thickest cream that you could find um, to use for your body, but I use it for my hands. A lot of people don't like this, it's too thick and greasy for them, but like I said, I've got the dry skin, so my skin kind of just absorbs it. And once I massage it into my hands, my hands are not greasy. I'm left with like soft and um, smooth hands. Sometimes my fingertips do get a little bit chapped and I either use a little bit of Vaseline or I just stick with the Nivea cream. And yeah, I've been using this for years and years. Since I was a kid, I've been using uh, Nivea cream, so I really like this. Uh, another hand cream I like is L'Occitane. That's this one here. And this is their original one. They've got other ones um, with different scents, but I just like the original one. Um, L'Occitane uh, Provence Dry Skin Hand Cream. So this is the one I have on right now. It smells amazing. I love that clean, fresh scent. And um, yeah, it's a little purse-sized tube. And I picked this one up from MacArthur Glen uh, Outlet Mall. Got one more skincare, and this is an old favorite as well. This one is by The Body Shop, and it is their... This is a mini size that I picked up during a sale, and this is the Shea Body Butter. And a little bit goes a long way. Um, you would think that you need a lot to just apply to the body, but I just use a little bit and massage it in. And it smells amazing. Um, I've only used just a little bit at the moment. Sometimes I just use it for my hands as well, but it's a soft um, baby powder kind of smell. So you can get these in bigger tub sizes as well. Um, within their line, they have, I think, a hand cream, they've got a shower cream, shower gel, and all those other products, but I just like the, uh, the body butter. I think that's it for skincare. I'm gonna move on to some of the beauty products that I have, which I've been using constantly, like in my everyday makeup routine. I think I'm gonna start with uh, my eyeshadows that you would have seen in many of my videos, and it would be these two right here. I'll talk a little bit about Charlotte Tilbury's um, quads. She's got different ones for different eye looks. This one I have is a vintage vamp look. And this is um, something I use every day. And uh, you don't just have to use it for every day. You can use it for an evening look as well. And I love how the idea of our palettes are the shade you can use on your own if you like that. But she calls it the primer shade. And then you have a light brown to give you a little bit of definition in the eyes. Um, more of a transition color and then you would use a darker brown to define it. And if you're going for an evening glam look, you would use the gold um, sparkle shade. This is uh, not as shimmery as it looks, it's more of a sparkle which I would top up after applying these three. So I love it and the best part is the formulas are really nice, easy to apply, uh, buttery as you're applying. And it's long lasting, it stay puts. Like I don't see my eyeshadow fading away throughout the day. So I like that if I apply in the morning and I have somewhere to go late afternoon, the evening, then this is quite nice, like the makeup's still there. Another one I wanna talk about is Too Faced, the gingerbread palette. I love gingerbread cookies as well. Their eyeshadows, the formulas are amazing. Um, I picked up this palette because it had like various uh, shades in there. Um, I love the plum and the pinks. And then you've got the warm uh, burnt orange shade. And then you've got some browns and golds in there as well. These colors here um, like really bring out my dark brown eyes. And um, them as well are like really easy to apply. They're smooth and buttery and uh, long lasting as well and they're pigmented. The colors are stunning. I'll talk about my mini uh, highlighter. Um, I used to have, or I still have this palette by Jaclyn Hill, and it was a collaboration with Becca. 
cosmetics and uh, the palette had two highlighters and three blushes and the two highlighters in there were like my favorite highlighters and I think one was called Prosecco Pop which is my favorite and the other one I think is Champagne Pop unfortunately that palette it, it's it's like destroyed uh, my blushes cracked and went into pieces the highlighters went into pieces and I have barely anything left so when I pick this one up this is a different color as well it's opal and um, I just didn't think I would like any of the other shades but um, it's quite a neutral color it's not as pinky as champagne pop I think it's more of a, a warm yellowy color but I like that one and I love how it's so compact that I could carry it with me a bronzer and this is Guerlain and this is their terracotta bronzer how pretty is that brown um, it's quite warm and red toned and I actually like that I think that's nice for deeper darker skin tones um, a lot of people I guess like bronzer is a little bit more neutral and cool toned but I quite like this one um, it has a little bit of a shimmer in it but that doesn't show up too much um, I use this as Part of my everyday makeup if I sometimes don't want to wear blush I do a little bit of bronzer and then it just adds a little bit of color this one is called terracotta in O2 natural blondes so yeah and it's got a nice beautiful case as well oh my god I almost forgot to talk about these products right here so the first one is so they're all makeup and an all-time favorite is the it cosmetics um, CC cream so this one that I've been using for a very long time it's the CC color correcting full coverage cream plus anti-aging hydrating serum and it's got 50 plus UV uh, UVB UVA in it so this is another holy grail product something that I use every single day almost every day um, and I sometimes even use that for parties it's just the perfect coverage um, and it gives me that glowy hydrating look but it's flawless this is in the color tan but um, I was finding it a little bit too dark, especially now in winter time. So then I ended up getting the color medium, which I now find that it's a little bit too light. So I've been mixing them together. Eventually in the future, when I finish up these two, I will get a shade that's in between. And I think they do have quite a few shades and one that would probably match my skin tone now. So yeah, these are my absolute favorite. So the other two products, these are Senegents and this is special to me because this is where I'm going to talk about a little bit, um, you know, it's it's my own business that I'm doing and if you're part of my Facebook group then you know. Um, these are also favorites of mine. I'll talk about um, the tinted moisturizer. This is a color correcting tinted moisturizer as well. So both of these products, they're color correcting. So if you have dark spots or maybe dark circles like I do, it covers up really well. The CC cream from IT Cosmetics is a little bit more full coverage. This is a bit more sheer, so it's buildable. Second and third layer would give you more coverage. And another great thing about this, it's infused with skincare. Um, I use the color uh, medium and it adjusts, it self adjusts to your skin tone. So you could go two or three shades, either lighter or darker, and it would still match you. This is a tester that I'm still using for quite some time now. I was introduced to Santa Gems by my friend Senna and um, it's amazing. It's uh, what we do is basically we do direct selling for some gents but we create our own business the way we do promotions the way we sell it's our own um, our own way of doing it it's our own ideas our own promotions so we can be a little bit more creative with it is the mascara the very very popular sun gents lash sense uh, volume intense mascara so what this has is one of the main ingredients in this product is capixel so 
what it does is it helps with lash growth and it doesn't happen immediately but slowly so slowly but surely you will see some results and what I noticed was every time before I started using this I would take off my eye makeup and I would have some lashes falling out two to three when I started using this I noticed maybe only one or none coming out so I was pretty amazed by that and then I started noticing baby lashes coming out so that's when I knew that this product actually works I do have videos um, that talk a little bit more about Senegens I'll link them down below so you can have a watch learn more if you have any questions leave them down below um, a setting powder that I've been loving by NYX cosmetics and it's called can't stop won't stop I picked this up in the color medium and it's it looks like this so it's finely milled and what I like is the color is perfect um, I like a little bit of a brightening effect under my eyes and a little bit goes a long way and it doesn't make it cakey under my eyes so I love that um, I was on the hunt for a new powder after using my Ben Nye one that one was a banana powder but um, I found this one is quite nice actually I think I forgot to mention these two products um, part of skincare I also started using ordinary so the company is called DCM and they carry the ordinary products so this one is the hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5 um, serum so they're ultra pure, vegan, um, cruelty free, very simple ingredients. It's very basic, but I like this for the hydration that it gives me. Um, I just apply that after toning and uh, before applying my face cream and part of my skincare routine. Another thing I like for skincare is by Garnier. I do use their makeup remover, uh, micellar cleansing water for sensitive skin and I sometimes use their cleanser their gel cleanser as well um, but I've really been liking this hydrating facial mist I noticed a bit of a difference when I do apply this uh, the next two products I'm going to talk about is going to be hair care and I found that you know I do blow dry and use a hair straightener quite a bit and my hair has been dry so I picked up this renewing argan oil and it's by Morocco um, it looks like this I'm just not quite sure what the brand is I think it's OGX beauty pure and simple I think that's what it's called and that's the oil and you can see that that's all I have left it's a dry oil so it's nice because it doesn't make the hair greasy but it makes it nice and soft um, yeah so I've just been applying that after my shower and before I blow dry so speaking of blow dry I have started using Pantene this is the Pro-V heat primer thermal heat protectant helps protect hair up to 450 degrees so after applying the dry oil um, I apply a little bit of this because I wasn't I hate to admit this but I wasn't using a heat protectant for the longest time so I finally um, a friend recommended this one and it smells amazing it smells so so nice and um, yeah so I've started using that so I can protect my hair I want to talk about my favorite products from sage you guys know how much I love sage and what products I love from them so I definitely have to mention them in my 2019 favorites and one of them I have here so I have a little go-to pouch that I keep in my bag I love the packaging this is their holiday packaging and it kind of looks like a starry midnight uh, look and um, so I'll show you in a minute what's inside the case but I also want to mention the pain release so I don't know if you can tell but there's just a little bit in there now I whenever I have headaches um, I just apply a little bit to the temple and a little bit to the forehead and it works immediately like it's amazing um, it's a pain reliever for 
the normal aches and pains that you may have like around the neck sage now has a bigger roller ball a jumbo one this is the jumbo one in the case and they recently came out with this one and i just started using it since um november so it's a jumbo roller ball and this is the extra strength one so if you've gone for a run you're doing some workout and you got some strains or back pains anything i get neck pains um i had a minor injury here on my hand and i use this and it works wonders so this is what it looks like and it is called the extra strength pain relieving remedy and it's absolutely amazing and i kind of like the way it smells too in my case what i have in here for my go-to um pocket pharmacy they call this the po pocket pharmacy but it says my pharmacy on here i'll quickly run through um what's in here this is an allergy release um this is a mini pain release and then i have an immune one in here so the immune one is perfect to have on hand um, if you're prone to allergies or colds. It fights germs and viruses, so it's, it's good to have on hand. Pain release, like I mentioned, it's just a nice mini one to have with me. And then allergy release, if you have those summertime allergies or so-called wintertime allergies, watery eyes, um, congestion and runny nose, itchy throat, then that's a good one to have. That's it guys, that's my best products used, best brands used in 2019. You might have seen a lot of repeats in here. I didn't have too many, but I kind of wanted to keep it limited and to, <clears throat> to the products that I've been like genuinely using every day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I would love to know what your favorite products were for 2019. Leave me a comment down below on um, on that and what would you like to see from me in 2020. And yeah, I just hope you guys enjoy the video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're notified of every time I upload. And I'll see you in my next one.